The Invincible War, set in motion by Angstrom Levy. The epic battle with conquest, the final build-up to the Viltrumite War, the secret invasion of Earth, it's all inside and it's almost too much for one superhero to handle. We're going to Hi everybody, welcome to another exciting discussion here at A Week in Geekdom. This time we're talking Invincible, the Ultimate Collection, Volume 6 hardcover. Yes, this is the sixth discussion video on Invincible on my way to review the whole series and give you a definitive rating for this wonderful, spectacular series. Now, in Volume 6, a lot of awesome things occur. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the Invincible War, and you know it's going to be epic. Basically, Angstrom is, has had enough, and he hates Invincible to the point where he gathers alternate versions of our main hero from different parallel universes, evil versions, and he has promised them riches beyond belief and world conquest, so he sets about an invasion of our main hero's Earth and just wreaks havoc, man. Like... The scope is so grand that Skybound and, and Robert Kirkman and crew were able to get the permission, I guess, from different creators to cameo in all sorts of uh, image superheroes from Spawn, Savage Dragon, and, and a whole bunch that I didn't even know about. There's a ton of characters in here. The action is intense. It is brutal. And this is the start of the series. This is the peak point. Of, obviously, there's 12 hardcovers. So this is the halfway point where things... If you thought Volume 1, with the big reveal at the end of Issue 13, left your mouth wide open, this is a straight-up brutal cliffhanger. Why? You've got, I think it was like eight or nine versions of Invincible, I might be wrong on that, taking on all these heroes, and they're mopping the floor with every single one of them, and just, um, man, it, it, it's, I love these type of stories where you've got these great odds that the heroes must uh, face in the face of, face, face, great, <laughs> they must face in this adversity, and Mark, especially after everything that he has gone through, and the public being wary of him as invincible as the savior for Earth, now has to deal with the fact that there's doppelgangers out there killing people, and that is going to tarnish uh, Invincible's reputation. And it's just a delight to see the characters have to reach deep down and fight like they've never fought before uh, with uh, the odds stacked against them like I mentioned Invincible uh, is able to mostly just keep them at bay they eventually do defeat some of these uh, Invincibles from other universes but they are some heavy casualties like millions of people die in this war and the public is upset angry and just freaking frustrated at the character and to top it all off, one of the best defining moments in the series, the one that I consider, like if I was going to do a video on my top favorite moments uh, of the series, this would easily be in my top five. I love the introduction of Conquest. It is unexpected. It just, after a huge war, comes this big brute and he is out for blood. Like the Viltrumites have had enough. And if Mark cannot agree to what they're doing or provide any sorts of uh, results of controlling the populace or uh, setting the stage for an invasion and whatnot, then Conquest is the guy you sent in to deal with this and just kill uh, your opposing force and just pave the way for uh, the, the uh, Viltrumite Empire to just roll in. And what follows, one, is a very very awesome epic underrated fight in all of comics and two some of the best artwork in a superhero comic book i love what ryan did on this book the drawings are insane the amount of detail even if it's gory as hell 
It is beautiful, sometimes disgusting, but almost always badass. And the intricate detail that it comes to just two people punching the living crap out of each other is marvelous to behold, to say the least. The art in it is just fabulous. It's my favorite part of Invincible. I love the whole series, don't get me wrong, but this, uh, I keep coming back to this book compared to the other volumes because of the Conquest stuff and uh, the start of the uh, uh, the Viltrumite War and all that stuff, simply because I love uh, this type of story where uh, you've got these super-powered beings that really play out more like, um, like this manga anime fest, uh, you know, I've made the comparison uh, in the past of Dragon Ball Z and all that stuff and it's very much in that uh, style so if you like big bombastic fun action-packed scenes with a certain brutality to it yes it is disgusting but there is a purpose behind it the odds are so stacked against Mark Grayson and what he has gone through to get to this point that he will do whatever it takes and let that be a life lesson like don't beat your enemies to a bloody pulp but you can't give up and i've always mentioned that invincible uh, the main theme of the book at least for this nerd is about not giving up about keeping uh about moving forward in the face of adversity we also get the uh second invasion of the sequids which was really fun but some very dark undertones this time around and it all comes back to the previous volume where i talked about the morality and the issue behind um you know superhero killings i guess or just taking out bad guys there are two options here one, your hero, your main hero, can compromise his virtues and what he is made of and make this ultimate decision to take care of the uh, evildoers, sacrifice his beliefs and, and moral compass, if you will, to stop a threat that, in, in the case of Angstrom Levy, uh, Mark says it, him, says it himself, if he would have stopped them pages ago, none of this would have happened but here comes the other part of the dilemma if you go ahead and forsake your moral compass your code then aren't you just becoming a super villain aren't you just becoming a villain and taking the easy way out by just offing if somebody pisses you off no i'm, I'm gonna uh take care of him and this comes into play much later when the character of Cecil Stetman reveals that former enemies can be reformed and, and, and just um, made uh, to do good in the world and, and give back to a community that he or she hurt in the past. So that is sort of the underlying theme of this book. And when the Sequid invasion begins, everybody is doing their very best to stop the Sequids and you're isolating the main host to take care of them, but Invincible takes the easy route of killing the former astronaut. And uh, Robot himself, uh, himself is shocked and tells him, you know, we could have done something different. We could have found a way to do it. And, and that's the thing, you'll never know. There will always be this uncertainty. I'm not a fan of the character taking that route. And in the case of this book, Kirkman toys with the idea but doesn't go too deep into it uh, and after the whole fiasco Kirkman uh, makes the character realize that uh, you know it's 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 too easy he's invincible he's a good guy he's not gonna do it so that is probably one of my main faults uh, with this book that it doesn't go further into the exploration of said theme that would be my main gripe with it but everything else, man, I enjoyed the heck out of. The action is intense. You get um, you get Nolan and uh, Alan the alien on this epic space adventure. Trying after escaping prison, they're trying to find all the items that can win against or, or debilitate, I guess, the Viltrumites. And it's it's pretty cool. Uh, I love the artwork in it. It's very fun and wacky and very uh, old school inspired. And by the way, I should. Uh, tell you guys that when these characters make their way to Earth to uh, get uh, Invincible to join because the fight is actually coming, we get the final issue in the book and it's a recap story. I hate recap stories. I get it. If you're doing a monthly comic, 
Eh, they're somewhat necessary. You can get a whole bunch of new readers and you can educate uh, recently acquired readers, if you will, with uh, the characters retelling the story through heavy exposition dialogue and just musing. Uh, it, it just features uh, Mark and Adam Eve musing over what has happened in the story so far, which sucks because I, I, you're reading the whole story and if you're binging on this whole thing, you can easily skip that issue. So the uh, theme exploration and that recap are my uh, two main gripes with uh, the story. But the main positives, and with this I'll wrap it all up, the fights are brutal. Yes, there are they are sometimes pretty disgusting, but they have meaning to them. There is a ferocity and an intensity that has not been seen in this book. And it is justified because you're having a character that is literally fighting for his life. It has come down to this. You get the amazing panel of Adam Eve's uh, near-death experience. And I remember when I first read that issue back a couple years ago, I went, wait, what? I had to like double take and reread it because I'm like, no, 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 no. And, and at that time, I didn't know the character was going to survive because it's an image comic book. It's not Marvel or DC, so I, I, I don't know. I mean, Kirkman does Walking Dead, and people are getting killed left and right, so I'm like, maybe this time in Invincible that he's gonna do the same thing. I'm like, no, one of my favorite characters. Thankfully, uh, no, she goes all Super Saiyan level one, level two, and just reforms herself, uh, sort of untapping that uh, hidden uh, potential to stop that thing from happening. and. And she goes all Dr. Manhattan on uh, Conquest. But it's it's just insane. And two of my favorite panels, real quick. Here you go. Just, man, the complexity and the tragic imagery here is fantastic. Along with this, one of my favorite covers of the whole series right there. Just beautiful. And speaking of intricate details, if you're like, nah man, the series is not that intricate, just take a look at this awesomeness of Mark Grayson and Conquest just beating the living crap out of each other, followed by some more bloodshed. I'm sorry, it's a little bit brutal. I don't even know if I can show the whole thing. <clears throat> oh, here's when uh, she goes all Doc Manhattan on... <laughs> on uh, Conquest and I'm not gonna show the final page because this is a little bit gruesome I don't know how the internet works I don't know if I'll get a strike for gruesome imagery but yeah this you know after so many headbutts you can imagine how um, the character is gonna end up and it's actually pretty freaking disgusting oh yeah before I go Universa issue 69 one of my favorite covers it reminds me of a classic Marvel or DC cover with just uh the hero uh you know they're down on their knees against this new character and you're like who is this character and she's so awesome looking like uh, like she could have stepped out of a uh a walt simonson thor comic or something like that really cool especially i i especially love uh her in the background right there with this uh synth wave punk uh, rockish vibe going on. I don't know. I, I thought she was uh, pretty cool. Finally, Conquest survives the fight because people are dumb and they make dumb mistakes, especially uh, Cecil lying to uh, Invincible after he wins the fight and uh, takes the head and the body and all that stuff. So the character escapes and at the end of the book, uh, the Viltrumite War is about to begin. Overall, a very amazing book about self-discovery and what it, it truly means to cross the line, that um, thin red line between a, a hero and a villain. Guys, those are some of my words on Invincible. I hope you enjoyed this mini uh, discussion. I look forward to the seventh video in this Invincible series. I have a ton of fun doing these videos. I love Invincible and if I get to share a couple minutes geeking out over it with you guys then yeah that's, that's just the best. As always thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You guys 
are awesome. I love all of you. Find me on your favorite social media platform, and I will catch you guys later.